Dear students, dear parents, welcome to another information video on the education system in Lower Saxony. My name is Karen. I'm originally from New York and have been living here for 30 years, although I only wanted to come for six months. I will be guiding you through this next video, which focuses on the Berufsfachschule, the BFS for short. This film explains the Berufsfachschule, BFS for short, especially the one-year vocational school, the Einjährige Berufsfachschule, which is the most common. Watch our video on vocational training beforehand to know what training occupations, Ausbildungsberufe, there are in Germany, and how to learn these occupations through dual or full-time school-based training. The one-year vocational school is attended by students with a lower secondary school or intermediate secondary school leaving certificate who are still of compulsory school age and would like to acquire skills at this type of school that they will later need for their training occupation. If they perform well, they also have the opportunity to obtain a higher level school leaving certificate. Training at the vocational school usually lasts one year. We will only be able to provide the most important information here. If you are interested, please contact the BBS of your choice for a consultation session. There, you will be given good advice on which vocational school best suits your future career aspirations. There are different vocational fields at the one-year vocational school. This allows for specialization even before starting an apprenticeship. For example, there are specializations in home economics and care, business, or electrical engineering. Students must complete a counseling session with a career counselor and then choose a BBS and specialty that fits their future career aspirations. In addition to the specialization, they can usually also choose a focus. At each school, there are very different specializations and focuses, so you have to choose the right school according to your interests and competences. The application deadline for the start of school after the summer vacation is often as early as February or March. In order to be admitted to a one-year vocational school, students must have the school leaving certificate required for the chosen specialization or focus. This can be the Hauptschule Diploma or the Realschule Diploma. At the one-year vocational school, students then receive practical and theoretical instruction in the chosen field or focus. In addition, they have lessons in general education subjects, such as mathematics, German, English, and politics. They learn math through job-related tasks. They also complete a four-week internship at a company. After one year of vocational school, students have the option of entering the second year of dual vocational training, which is explained in our other video. This means that they can skip the first year of training by applying to the relevant office. However, the prerequisite is that the training company agrees that what they have learned fits the desired training occupation and that their performance at school was good. Those who transfer to the one-year vocational school with a secondary school diploma can obtain the secondary school certificate one, Hauptschulabschluss, after the first year. With a grade point average of at least 3.0, students may also attend class two of a two-year vocational school Zweijährige Berufsfachschule. There, the students can obtain the secondary school leaving certificates Realschulabschluss or the extended Realschulabschluss. Students can only choose certain one-year vocational schools if they already have a diploma from a Realschule. They can then acquire the extended Realschule diploma after just one year. After one year of Berufsfachschule, students have the option of entering the second year of dual vocational training as explained in our other video. This means they can skip the first year of training. However, the prerequisite is that the training company agrees that what they have learned fits the desired occupation and that their performance at school was good. Let's now follow two young people on their way through the Berufsfachschule. Maya leaves the 10th grade of a comprehensive school, a Gesamtschule, with a secondary school certificate one, Hauptschulabschluss. She would like to become an electronics technician. Since she has not found a training place, she enrolls in the Berufsfachschule for Electrical Engineering with a focus on industrial engineering. She gets very good grades at the vocational school and uses her school report to apply for a training place again, this time successfully. Since she now already has initial knowledge from vocational school that fits her profession, the training is easy for her and she can apply to have her training shortened. 
Because she completed her training very successfully, she is hired directly by her training company as an electronics technician. Mustafa leaves the 10th grade of a secondary school with a Realschule diploma. He is keen on going to a vocational school to complete his Abitur and then study economics. To do this, he first needs an extended secondary school leaving certificate. Mustafa therefore enrolls in a Berufsfachschule specializing in economics with a focus on commerce. Since Mustafa already has a Realschule certificate and good grades, he can obtain his extended secondary certificate one after just one year. He then enrolls at a vocational school specializing in business. Mustafa passes his Abitur in grade 13 and is accepted at a university to study economics. After another three years of study, he graduates with a bachelor's degree and is then hired by an insurance company. This video was produced by Migranets, the network of teachers from Lower Saxony with a migration background, the Causa Landesstelle Niedersachsen and the Migranten Eltern Netzwerk Niedersachsen. Links to further explanatory videos and information about the individual school types as well as our contact details can be found on the websites linked below. All information is without guarantee and does not replace a personal consultation. Do you have any questions? Then feel free to contact us by phone or by email. We wish all students a successful school career.